dun, 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 dun. Good evening, everybody. Let's see if that's going to continue me. Yes, right where I want to be. Alright, so getting on a little early tonight. Um, hold on, let me... Yeah. Um... So, I actually um, beat Saravok last night, but I have not gone to Olgar's Beard or Tower at all, um, and I was not aware that it immediately ends the game once you beat Saravok, and of course in this edition immediately takes you to Siege Dragon Spear. So what I did was I reloaded. Um, to right before I was walking into the building to fight Saravok, and I backtracked all the way back out of here. Um, so I can actually do the beard and the tower. Um, but first, we're going to. actually get some stuff taken care of here. Do my best. Excuse me. So yeah, what was supposed to be a two to three hour stream last I night ended up being... Oh. Are times. Hold on. Um... I'm just trying to see. I, I don't know if this is something I should already know or not. Let me see. But that was not the family that knew you and knows you now. I think you fill the pool and I think you strain against it still. Ah, uh, again, you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know yourself. There are three things that are strength incarnate. There is love of life, there is fear of death, and there is family. A family that loves death would have a strong pull indeed. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know. Who hates me? What have I done to deserve this? What have you done? You exist, and chaos will be sown. That is the way it was intended, though I hope to change it. I must go, and you must go to Duke Elton. Protect him from his own healer. I've already, yeah, it's stuff I've already done. So, let's go in here and... Get everything taken care of that we need to get taken care of. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay, first, let's get. What is that? Potion of Master Thievery. There's the letters. Yeah, we got a lot to uh, go through here. Not Kevin. Uh, let's see. I really want... Um, oh crap, the container is full. I've got so much crap in here that I don't need. Uh, like, I'm never going to use Infravision. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh, I forgot those are plus one, plus two bullets. Why they couldn't just give me... Okay, so I don't necessarily need... to, um... carry any potions, because I usually plan that out anyway. Let's see, the rings can go in here. Da, da, dun, dun, dun. And I don't really need the invitation or the notes anymore. 
So we're just going to drop them. Okay, what else y'all got? That's the same. I've already copied that. Drop the letter. Uh, Delorna's Spellbook. I'm really curious about that. Like, what is that? What does that even do? It's... Sorry, jeez. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot to... Actually... No, I'll just do the... I'll just do the resting. It doesn't bother me. Gives me time to get myself reorganized. Um, okay. Give him that, please. And Mr. Potion can go in here. What book are you? You still the diary? I don't need that anymore either. Right, let's see if we can sell it. <laughs> uh, okay. Jira. Go ahead and keep those there. Ah, clairvoyance. I think I've already... Alright, we'll just sell. We'll just sell the scrolls from now on. Shall we? Alright, where was I? I was with Emoin. There's a stupid statue. Oh, and I put the... Let's keep the bag here, just to... So I got all those. Maybe I can figure out what the hell those are for at some point. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Given? Oh, there it is. Uh, let's keep those together. Do you have any more normal arrows? You do not, do you? Alright, let's combine what we can there. You and your damn wands. Okay. So we got the scroll case. Oh, you can go to one of these guys. I don't know why you have a hold of it. Those were arrow of fire plus two. Alright, let's see. Let's start identifying some stuff. Yes. Give me the Royale. So yeah, the fight with Saravok took me like an hour before I figured it out. Alright. I want you to identify the plate mail. The Magma Bulwark plus two. Is armor class one minus two versus slashing. I don't know that that's a good thing at all. It's, yeah, we can sell this. Actually, does he just got regular plate mail? He does. Give him that. That works out. Works out very well, actually. Okay. Um, who's next? Give me three items. Let's see if I can identify him with lore. No, no. No. Dang it. 
Okay. It's a two-handed sword plus one. Nothing special there. Oh, Longtooth the Grave Binder. Uh, Only six plus two. I don't think I have anybody that uses a dagger, though. Ooh, the Shadow Blade plus three. That's going to take the place of. 1d6 plus 3. That go plus 3. Give that to Emoine, please. And she's already got a good one. The Whistling Sword plus 2. 1d6 plus 2. And. 1d6 plus 3. I mean, that's uh, pretty easy to figure out. Okay. Another two-handed sword. Anything special? Nope. Just a two-handed sword plus one. Uh, another two-handed sword. Oh, we're out. Okay. I got some cheap beer for ya. Do ya? Just give me the peasant room. Okay. Tell me what this sword is. Just another plus one sword. Maybe we'll win the jackpot here. Nope. Nothing special. I don't even know why. I'm not gonna waste. I'm just, I'm just not going to waste it on two arrows. Alright, so we got a lot here. Um, let's go with the ring. Ring of the Princes. Armor class plus one, saving throws plus one. Does anybody not have a ring? You do not have a ring, so... Oh... What other... What other magical thing am I wearing that's... not allowing it? It's not the katana. That's odd. That's really odd. I got... That's just a normal helmet. Uh, Ring of the Princes. Item cannot be equipped due to other magical equipment you are currently wearing. I'm just real curious why. I don't see anything that's pointing out. Yeah, nothing that's pointing out that I can't wear other magical stuff. I'm so... Okay, well, I guess... Item cannot be equipped due to other... Does it say? They're both the same ring. 
Okay, well, I give up. We'll just sell the damn thing. Alright, so um, let's do the mage robe next. Really? You're already out? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move some of this stuff over. I'm not going to identify five arrows. Let's get the sword. And the sling. Okay, can you go in and identify any of this stuff? What happened? Oh, that's, that's Kiven. That's why. Uh, I'm not the smartest guy. That's why. <laughs> All right. Traveler's robe, we can get rid of that. Uh, let's go with the sling. It's just a sling plus one that can be sold. Give me the sword. It's just a long sword plus one. Anything special about... Nope, just studded leather armor. Here we go with arrows. Arrow biting. Arrow of ice. Ooh. Why would she not identify that? Okay. Alright. So that should be it for all of the magical... Oh, nope, I lied. Did I give that to Kevin again? I did. Arrow piercing. Okay, so is that it for magical gear that we need to... Yes, yes it is. If I've got one left... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Alright, so we're done identifying stuff. Let's give Nira back her correct spells. Uh, we want... Couple sleeps, couple blindness. Oh, you gotta stop dipping into me own aim. Right. We'll take the Royale, please. All right. Um, actually, let's pick that back up. I was accidentally giving them to Kiven. She should be able, yeah. Alright, let's go find somewhere to sell this junk. I'll do my best. Should be right here. Yep. I'll do my best. Should talk to him. Welcome to my humble establishment. Okay, so we can sell the whistling sword. We're done with it. Um, nobody will buy Sarah Box Diary. Okay, get rid of all of these. He won't take the studded leather armor. Or the plate mail. I can just dump the plate mail. Um, and he won't take my... We'll go back to sundries for that. Okay, do you have anything worth a damn? Uh, you literally have the stuff I just sold you. 
that's it, right? Okay, well, let's get some... Let's get some arrows, at least. Uh, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or just 8, I guess. Let's get some bullets as well. Does he only have 20 bullets? Why? Welcome to my humble establishment. Oh, because she didn't have any. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She didn't have enough room in her in her inventory because of all her damn wands. All right. Uh, you need to give these to these guys. It's probably not going to be enough. these as well. Who bought the... I guess I forgot actually forgot to purchase the bullets. Welcome to my humble establishment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Bye. Well, it shows he has them right here. Emoina does. Ah, I guess I was just blind. I did not see them. You got plenty of those. Let's let's buy a couple more arrows, please. Welcome to my humble establishment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Buy those. Thank you. One to him and one to her. Okay. Alright, so I think everybody is pretty much good. Um, is there anything else I was going to check? You have need of me? I don't, think, do I don't think so. I think we're good. So... This is where I'm going to go to I can, but try. the area. First, I'm going to go to the area that I have not explored, and then we'll go to the beard. Um, like I said, this is going to be a short evening because of last night's being so long. All right, we're in a new area. I can, but try. Everybody in their rights. Okay, it's a zonk. My brain will cut you down to size. Uh, frosty. Death. My brain will cut you down to size. Oh, sorry. My brain will cut you down to size. Oh, that's what I was going to check. I didn't know. How close everybody was leveling up. You're getting there. And you're getting there. And you're close. Oh, you're real close. 
You got a little bit. You got a little bit. Zombies just aren't scary in the daylight. Sorry. combat anymore. Cow. No charm it. There's a zombie in with the cows and the chickens. So yeah, my plan is tonight. Hey, Winrick. Hello, pal. I don't like the look you made. Move along. Well, thanks, asshole. I'm gonna have a look in your house. What do you think of that? Since my reputation got hit from killing flaming fist guards. I can, but try. All right, I'm not gonna steal. I. I don't need my reputation going down any lower than it did during that little. There's nothing behind his farm. Just tell yourself there's nothing. As, stand for such behavior again. as I'm saying there's nothing, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in anyway. Okay. See, Kivin's mad at me. You were there, dude. They were attacking us. Really, guys? You just decide you're going to try to walk through the fence. There's some water. I guess it's really not going to hurt me to check. Oh, I can't. Okay, so obviously there's nothing north of here. zombies. Go get them. Got him. Emoeen, look at you. Level you up. You got some more skill. Oh, that's right. She. <laughs> All right. So we're going to level up your pickpockets. Um, I forgot. She leveled up last <laughs> night after we beat Saravok, but of course we had to reload so we could do this. So. I was thinking, man, they gave her skills twice in a row. Going down. Can we go this way? What the Sam Hill? All right, what am I missing here? Get a little closer. A little closer. Alright, that's fine. So it's just gonna be a big lake, huh? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> they just got done walking. That's what's going on. Uh -huh.
keep walking. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be a little disappointed if there's if there's nothing here. Other than, than some zombies. My blade will cut you down to size. Zombies and a chicken. Well, I'm not going to lie, that's um, pretty disappointing. Okay. Well, I guess we can... Head on to the beard. It's a 20 hour travel. We can do it. Oh, we got some stuff to read here. The village of Olgoth's beard lies on the banks of the river Seanthar, just upstream from Baldur's Gate and the open sea beyond. This farm-dotted countryside is usually a peaceful haven from the turmoil of the Sword Coast, although of late the same cannot be said of Olgoth's beard itself. The simple fishing village has become the source of many a rumor in recent days, rumors of an ancient cult risen again, unsubstantiated tales of a murderous creature stalking the night, and talk of strange goings-ons in the house of Chandelar. The powerful and eccentric mage who makes his home in the normally sleepy village. Casting spells isn't as easy as I need to I'm tired. Sorry about that. You have also heard with certain certainty that tours of the fabled Durlog's Tower operate from Olga's Beard and that it truly a place where adventurers can test their mettle. Perhaps such a test will better prepare you to fight the darkness that threatens to destroy the Sword Coast and you with it. Look, guys, I know that my reading is... is can I just... Well, let's look around first. See if... See if there is a inn nearby. I don't know that there is one or not. Yep. Let's go to the inn. Can I help you? You have need of me? Yes. Walk in the I door. Can, but try. Hergen would speak at you, so listen up. Hergen Stoneblade. Merry band of heroes, ye be. Have I got the adventure that'll make you yearn for glory? I am Hergen Stoneblade, a pres presently residing in Citadel Adbar. Well met. What adventure do you speak of? A glorious adventure indeed. Ye have heard of Durlog's Tower, mayhaps? I haven't come across that name before. Durlog Trollkiller was a dwarven hero of great renown. Single-handedly slew many a dragon, he did. Migranda was a good friend of Durlog's. They adventured together until Migranma's untimely death several centuries ago. Go on. Migranda was slain by an evil demon, but Durlog survived. Durlog kept Soul Taker that had been Migranda's. He was going to send it to me, mother, but he was betrayed. A sad tale that, after Durlog built the tower, his family was replaced by doppelgangers. Durlog killed them all, but was driven mad by the act. He entrapped his tower heavily and forgot about Migranda's dagger. When I heard the stories of youth, I went to retrieve the dagger myself, but was driven back by Durlog's devious traps. If you be interested, I wish to hire ye to retrieve Migranda's dagger. Soul ticker me birthright. The tower has been penetrated somewhat by previous adventurers. I would think that the edge has been taken off of the danger. What say you? I will find your dagger if I am able. Good fortune to ye then. I shall await your return here. Okay. So. I care not. This let's way. go get some sleep for everybody. So let's stop bitching. You 
Okay, what do you got to offer? Oh, you sell stuff. Do you have anything worth? You got some plus two bullets I might take off your hands. Mental domination. I believe I've already got that. Protect from lightning. Remove curse. Emotion of hopelessness. Greater malice. Okay. Improved visibility. Potion mirrored eyes, cloak of displacement. How much was that? Seven thousand. Maybe. Ooh, ale staff. Hold on one second here. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's get back to this. So that's a plus three. And Jahira. I already have a one of the heavens. What does Sand Thief String do? Wow. Held by a master thief for the better part of a generation, this ring was put to bold use in the markets of Waterdeep. Working the crowd in broad daylight, the rogue would steal countless numbers of purses from nobles, replacing them with bags of sand so the theft would go unnoticed. His identity was never known, but the name Sand Thief was cursed loudly in its steed. It is rumored he retired and now lives among the nobles he used to rob. It's 40,000. I've got the money. I haven't bought shit in this game. Uh, oh, that's something I'd like too. That's charged though. Of course you can sell it and buy it back to get it recharged. Um, which I'm fine with. Okay, so before we do this, actually go ahead and let's... Let's buy the sand thief ring. Why not? We got the money. Um, go ahead and get the staff too. That'd be good for Jahira. Uh, cloak of displacement would be a nice buy as well. And the greenstone amulet. Okay, there went half my fortune, but that was worth it. Um, will you buy anything from me? Except <laughs> other than the stuff you just sold me? Uh, you will take the Ring of the Princes. You can have that. Nobody wants... Saravox Diary. Oh, you'll buy a damn wand, won't you? We'll take the Traveler's Robe. You can have that. Okay. I didn't think that worked out well. So I want the ring right there. Right there with her. And the cloak of displacement. Who all has a cloak already? I'm giving that to Khaled. Alright, and the greenstone amulet can definitely go on Lionel. We'll give you the other. Oh, and here's your new staff, Jahira. Now you 
got a hell of a staff. All right, real quick. Let me. You want some whiskey? Uh, that would depend on what you have to offer. Let me see if you'll buy said quarter staff. You will. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and give everybody a rest. Actually, before we do that, um, drink. I hear relations haven't been going too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused on all of all the raiding that's been happening along the roads. Not a good thing to go accusing the most powerful country in the Western world. Okay, we we know all that. Take a little rest. Okay. Let's do some talking. Hey, how'd you like to be sipping on fine venison and tipping back the good stuff? I have the key to your wealth legendary if you're up for it. Hear me out and the rest of these sods will be tugging on your coattails for loose copper someday. Tell me more, good sir. Ah, you've an adventure spirit in ye. No doubt you've heard of the labyrinth at Durlog's Tower, eh? And how she's been pillaged so often that fat nobles go there for picnics? Well, the tower has, but below are dungeons untouched. I have a token, a ward token to be sure, that gives entry to them. Tis yours if you'll but settle my tab so I can leave this fine place with all my limbs intact. Uh, how much of a tab is the stake? Oh, tis but a meager sum. I'm embarrassed I cannot cover it. Myself, 900 gold and off the hook. What do you say? Um, you have a deal, sir. Ah, uh, bless your kindness not to pay my bill before I suffer any more interest of either sort from the innkeep. Oh, by the by, while I'm quite certain he could not find me here, the former owner of that little trinket may well be keeping an eye over Durlog Way to see if he can spot someone using it. Just thought I'd pass along the warning since you did me this favor. I'm sure he'll listen to reason, though. Alright, I got a ward stone. Commoners got anything interesting well, to say? To you to want. Did you hear that they found Balderon in the trackless sea and they're bringing him back to rule Baldur's Gate? I didn't know that. Alright. Emily and walk around and introduce yourself. See if there's anybody worth, worth talking Always to here. To speak to new Welcome to Old God's Beard. Thank you, my lady. Polite, too. There's this fellow named Mendus who moved into town this summer. Some of us will try to give him a welcome basket. He slammed the door right in our faces. Alright. Go in this room. Alright. I think we've pretty... Well, go see what... No, that's it. Step right up, step right up. Step right up, folks, and hear the tale of dread place before thee. Join with me as I, adventure extraordinaire like Cascadian Vendar, lead yet another group of brave souls through the very seat of danger in the realms. To Durlog's Tower we shall go and witness the perils that have taken the lives of hundreds of courageous men and women. See the horror of the treacherous traps. Feel the presence of the long languishing dead. Marvel at the wondrous wealth buried below. Not for the weak of spirit, as I will not be held accountable for any heart failure during or after our expedition. Step up, step up, one at a time. Ah, good people of noble blood who would throw down the gauntlet in the face of chance. Come see the lengths a man must go to protect what's his. A special package deal of 60 gold for your entire group, not that you would need a discount. I am not interested in your adventuring tours. Yes, the tower scares away the best of us. I'm leaving here daily if you find your spine. Alright, Dishai. I'm trying to meditate adventure. Come and see me later. Oh, okay. Locked. Can I help if none are better? Locked, locked. Open this door. Locked there as well. Horse? You guys got anything different to say? Guy from Water sure keeps himself and leaves his house a couple times a month. That's the recluse. It's a good year for codfish. I'll have fried tongues from you boys tonight. 
Nice. Those for Tamrian. How you get out? I am closed for all time permanent. I am. Okay. Let's try to be nice. Let's think this commoner between two cows has anything different to say? Here in town. You're a friend of that scholar Mindus? Sorry, I never heard of the fellow. Well, welcome to the Love Spirit. I hope you have a pleasant day. Okay. Mendes is home. Let's talk to Fenris first. Away with you, beggar. What is a beggar? I'm Fenris Bulan, a very busy man, so out with it. I'm pleased to meet you. Have you gone on the tour of Durog's Tower? I don't care that you're Fenris Bulan. You're obviously no one importance. Okay, let's just ask him. Indeed I have. T'was a wonderful tour, although somewhat steep in price. Why do you ask? Perhaps you were entertaining thoughts of following in my footsteps? We thought that you might find the time to share some of the knowledge of the tower and of the tour. The tale of that ill-fated tower is a fascinating one. Durlog Troll Killer, a great dwarven hero, built the tower. Over a long and successful career, Durlog amassed a great hoard of treasure. Rumors spoke of rooms full of gems and a great hall strewn with dusty heaps of gold coins. With the aid of hired dwarves, Durlog dug many chambers and passages in the tour and raised the lone tower above it. Planning it as a seat where he could find, could found a dwarven community and grow old in peace, surrounded by happy, prosperous kin. Instead, doppelgangers, organized and aided by foul mind flares, slew and impersonated Durlog's companions. After the shocked dwarf discovered the first impersonation, he was attacked by all the others and spent a terror-filled ten day, frantically fighting through his own fortress, chased by monsters who wore familiar forms but sought his death. In the end, alone and victorious, he was powerless to stop the fleeing Illithids. Fearful they returned, Durlog hired the finest craft folk he could find and began to rebuild his tower and the tour beneath as an elaborate succession of traps, magical wards, secret passages, sliding prison chambers, and triggered weapons. For several centuries, things went on like this, as the increasingly eccentric Durlog lived on fungi and is cruelly whispered the bodies of intruders. At length he died, and presumably his bones still lie in some inner room guarded by thousands of deadly traps. After having seen the first few rooms of the tower myself, I can say that it must be as dangerous as the legends portend. It is a fascinating place to visit, and I strongly recommend that you take a tour. I must be off now. Farewell, and enjoy the tour. Cool. Thanks for... You have need of me, if none are better. Let's see... What? <coughs> uh, yes? I must be speaking. Uh, hello, friends. It is a pleasure meeting you. You are heroes for Sword Coast. I, am um, long wait to meet you. I am Mendes of Waterdeep, quester of small truth in this land. We, that is, I, am in need of favor from you. I have a money for pay and a big heart for friendship. Can you help a gentle fellow in search for knowledge? Um, knowledge is a worthy pursuit, my friend. I will help if I can. Tragic things are happening in this unfair, uh, how you say, world. The men with power... They hurt the men with none. They destroy things that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if these men are not born. The Merchants League, these bad men, they find the island to the west. The island has a broken ship and a shipwreck. Very old shipwreck, they say. Please go on. The Merchants League sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero is Balderon's. These men, they think that Balderon had much treasure on his final voyage. Maybe this is true, but ship also has many artifacts. These things hold knowledge of Balderon's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve the mystery of Balderon's final voyage. Merchants League will destroy my artifacts to get treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I get things precious to me. You get treasure. Merchantmen get nothing. You will help, yes? Uh, Mendes, you are clearly working towards a noble end. I will help you. I charter a boat forthwith. There is a small problem, though. These men that find island... They keep the sea charts locked up. In Baldur's Gate, there is a building in northeast of city called Merchants League Counting House. To find it, just go northeast from Elfsong Tavern. The sea charts, they are in there. Most likely, Captain of Ship will have them. I don't know such things as chart retrieval, but you are hero, and it is no problem for heroes. There might be small danger, so I give you some gold for the charts. I will wait for you here. Uh, consider it done. I will be back as soon as I am able. Please hurry, friends. I need charts soon. Merchants prepare ships as we speak. All right. I can, but try. Okay, Callahan. Hello, mates. Callahan, I be. Scourge of fish in the seven seas. Ain't seen you before. Knew you be. 
Verily, I am here to meet a gentleman scholar by the name of Mendes. Nope. Indeed, it is my first visit to lovely Old Gossbeard, situated on the lovely Sword Coast, a short carriage ride from downtown Baldur's Gate. A silver tongue ye have. The beard is lovely and is a mule's ass, and it smells like a ten-day fish. Welcome all. May the fleas be kind and the ladies kinder. Thank you, good sir. Tis nothing. You look a mite floundered, mates. Can I be of assistance? Aye, aye. No, you Mendes of... Nope. I be on the road for many a day. I'm looking for the company of the opposite sex. <laughs> Ask him. If your taste run to women, then Mistress Mallory be a willing partner. Of course, she's got omnian amorous affliction. The pox. Ah, I see. Arg. If your taste be run into the menfolk, there be Scotty McAverstein. He's got the pox too. <laughs> From Mystery Mallory, you understand? <laughs> Tis a terrible tale. There you mind then, mate. Enough... Heard enough, I have. Ah, you wish. Good day to you. <laughs> All right. None are better. Got some boats. Uh, commoner, you're not going to tell me anything I don't already know, right? Yes, you have something to say. Uh, yeah, ball and ship. Gotcha. There's nothing in the tower but rubble. Dun, 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 dun. I don't like the way this group is turning out. Better leadership might help. Well, I apologize. We did not have a choice. It really sucks that, uh, I say old goth boy, but I don't see anybody to talk to. Okay, I believe you, but no. There he is. And there he goes. Alright guys, come here. Come here, you're getting too confused. Let's just go the long way. How much this I got filled out? Commoner, 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 chicken. What's the old goth boy got to say? Chandelar. I know. Oh, yes. Don't think I don't. You who dare to show your face here. Oh, that's up here. I mean, a bit disadvantaged, sir. You claim to know me, but I'm not acquainted with you. Spare me your false pretensions and manners. I see through them as I see through light and day, and save your disgusting innocence and ignorance. You know me well and true, though we have not met in person to personal manner. My name, most foul whelp, is Chandelar. Yes, I see the dim lights of recognition in your eyes, like a bolt from the sky, though I get ahead of myself. You did slaughter that which I held most dear, for shame. State your case, plan, and save us both the time. Chandelier, I have, if you have an accusation, make it quick. I have no tolerance for innuendo and veiled threats. Chandelier, Chandelier, no, it doesn't ring any bells for me. Perhaps if you told me what it is, is I'm supposed to have done, you will not insult me so. That you cannot remember the incident is doubly infuriating. To have snuffed out the lights of my life and not even recall the deed is the height of indignity. Chandelier accuses, and you will admit. I grew weary of this old man. You had best change your tone before I get angry. Chandelar, oh dear. Chandelar of Olgar's beard. Chandelar that makes his home in the Halrun skyship. Oh, shit. <laughs> I killed his daughters. Chandelar that charges daughters to guard the components of such a skyship pending their sale. I've uh, never heard of you or your daughters. Uh, let's see. You were to sell the components of a skyship, then I prevented it. Granted, I did that so at the cost of your daughters' lives, but you were the one that charged them with the task of guarding the items I sought. Why put them in harm's way if you were not prepared to lose them? Okay, that's what I'm going to go with. It's the truth. Your argument falls short of becoming a reason not to kill you. I suppose it is my fault, not the thief's, if I am burgled in my home. After all, it is not his fault that I amassed wealth and dare to display it in mine home. In a mob rule, you might have a chance, but I am but a mob of one. Chandelar spits at you and condemns with the same breath. You will perform a duty to me as part of penance, and if you succeed, you will be a measure closer to repayment. I send you. I send you, and you may not return without a lovely souvenir. A cloak, perhaps.
Oh. You have been teleported by Chandelar far up the north on the island lost within the ice flows of the northern ocean. That's exciting. Oh, what did that say? I got a polar bear. I'm going to take him with me. Entrance to the dungeon. Okay. So, as I said before, I actually beat the base game last night. I killed Saravok. Didn't realize I couldn't do the tower or Olgoth's beard. Um, after I killed him, so I reloaded a save and I've got all the way back here. So I'm on the last fight with Saravok in the main story. And now I am here. I was up till 2 in the morning last night to get there. So I am going to go ahead and call it an evening right here. Um... But I will be back on, um, most likely, Saturday to continue on this journey here. I'm going to do this dungeon, and then I'm, I've am i got the um, the actual tower, Durlog's tower. And then I've also got, um, oh, the ship that, that he wants me to go to. So, short night, I know, but i got to get some rest, so... Thank you for everybody that joined me tonight, and I will see everyone later.